here's another set of commands that you need to be familiar with. And they're all related to working with reference files, even raster images, as you can see here. If I come up here, notice that with this arrow pressed down, I can see that I have three different reference files. If I select this, notice I've got one aerial photograph that's appearing in my window. And you can see it in the background. What if all I'm doing is working around this uh, corner right in here? I'm going to zoom in using my wheel. Now watch what happens when I get a little bit closer and I can see that I've got my aerial photograph in the background and I've got my row. Watch what I can do with this tool. This happens to be the clip volume command. And this is perfect for 2D and for 3D, but let me show you what you can do with 2D. With a single click, notice that you have the options. I have it right here to either go ahead, apply it by an element, or I could say, let's basically select two points. So I'm going to select this, and I'm going to very carefully move my mouse somewhere like about right here, click point number one. I'm going to drag it, and I'm going to say, I want to go somewhere right in here. With a single click, take a look at what happened. It clipped off all of my references, including the raster image. In fact, now when I fit the drawing, select this, notice how it ignores all of the references and it only focuses in on what's displayable. You see, this is very powerful because it doesn't really matter what level it's on or what files you're working with. MicroStation understands and it automatically clips everything. Now watch this. I'm going to just use my wheel to zoom out just a little bit. And one of the options we can do is come back up here to the task and select the element selection tool. And I'm going to select, you know, just maybe select all of my objects here. Notice how even the selection tool only selects the objects that are visible. Now, what happens if you want to retrim this? What if you wanted to recalculate this? All we have to do is come back up here, select the tool, come back on the option. This time I'm going to say display the clip element. So I'm going to say, let's reclip this. I'm going to make this slightly larger, say right in here. Notice how it's going to increase it for me, and it still leaves the element here. If I select the task and go to my element selection tool, I can actually click the very edge of this boundary. And with these little grips or these little clipped areas, these little handles, I can go ahead and tell MicroStation, I want to be able to make this larger or change how much of it is going to be displayed. Can you see how dynamically you're able to adjust this? Now, the fastest way to get rid of this border and get your entire drawing is just to select the edges and just press the enter key or the delete key on your keyboard uh, or again you can come up here to your tasks and that can basically tell this x delete element and microstation will get rid of it and now the entire drawing is back onto my screen now that is the clip volume and notice that it works for everything including raster images as well as reference files